In 2008, many banks in the United States began to fail, and many more stopped lending money. The reason was that many homeowners were defaulting on their mortgages. Banks were not getting paid for the money they lent, and as a result, they stopped lending money. With less money flowing through the system, the U.S. economy went into a recession. The stock market plunged and hundreds of thousands of jobs were lost. The root of the economic crisis was the problem around mortgages. A mortgage is a loan. A bank lends you the money to buy a house and charges you interest on the loan. As you pay back the mortgage, you not only pay back the amount that you borrowed, you pay back the interest on the loan. Mortgages are as old as banks themselves. People have been buying houses this way for centuries, and banks have been successfully lending money this way. So what happened in 2008 with this successful system? Why were so many people suddenly not able to pay their mortgages? We will investigate this problem first by analyzing what a mortgage is. Then we will look at different types of mortgages, especially the ones most responsible for the mortgage crisis. In particular, we will look at so-called subprime mortgages to see what made these types of loans so toxic to the economy. So as a first step, let us start with an investigation of what a mortgage is.